Hi, it's great to be back in my kitchen today, and I'm going to be sharing my hot chocolate recipe. Now it starts with three cups of milk, two cups of powdered sugar, one and one half cups of granulated white sugar, one and one half cups of unsweetened Dutch cocoa, and one cup of mini chocolate chips. It's very easy to put this together. My husband's out plowing. My girls are at the barn doing the chores. And so I thought I'd have something nice and hot for them when they get back. So let's go ahead and mix this together. Now I've just finished mixing and I'm using a brand new spatula that one of my readers was kind enough to send me. If you remember the chocolate almond bars, we did have a spatula incident and uh, she promised me this one wouldn't break. And it's actually quite beautiful. You can't really tell, but it has a little bit of etching of a bear uh, looking at me through the trees. Now this will make five quarts and you mix it with a third a cup of mix and then one cup of either boiling water or warm milk. And I always keep it on hand in the winter for my family, but I do like to give it as gifts and I like to do it beautifully wrapped. So let me show you some examples. Here's a jar that I decorated with a little Christmas ornament and there's a label here with the instructions on it. And then I have another one that's really pretty. This one happens to be made with bells. You can also put it in some small Ziploc bags and put it in something like this. Or even a coffee cup or a real pretty mug is also a good idea that you can gift this. Now, one of the extra treats that I like to include are chocolate spoons. I look in the thrift stores and find some really beautiful little patterns or maybe some that have initials. I dip these in chocolate, although maybe dipping isn't quite right. I actually kind of scoop the chocolate and get it nice and thick and full. And you can wrap them in cellophane and go ahead and serve them with the hot chocolate. It's really nice to melt it, although I have to admit that most people tell me they actually just eat it off the spoon instead of dipping it into their, into their drink. And if you happen to be giving the gift for a whole family, you could go ahead and put it in a pretty gift box like this. This is nice to include the mix and the spoons. Well, I hope I've given you some creative ideas and I really want you to try the hot chocolate mix. Let me know what you think about it. And if you have some other ideas, to wrap them beautifully. I'd love to see some of those too. So check out the links below. I hope you subscribe to my channel and that way you can see more videos about life in the modern day West. I appreciate our few minutes together. Thanks and we'll see you next time.